All right, in this equation um, submitted by Young Haley, we are going to work some stuff on ratios. All right, so it says, here is the ratio problems that I would like to make a video on, okay? Number one, it says there, uh, there's two, there are two teachers and 26 students. Okay, so two teach and 26 students, okay? What is the ratio of the students to the teachers? Okay, that means we want to put students on top, teachers on bottom. Okay, all you're doing whenever it wants like a ratio is you're making a fraction, a, um, however you want to say it, a numerator denominator, you're making division, whatever you want to say, you're just putting um, one over the other. Okay, so students go on top. How many students we have? 26. How many teachers? Two. Okay, so essentially it's saying 26 to 2. Sometimes they write ratios like this, 26 to 2, but since they want us to reduce it, um, we're going to put it like this. All right, now it looks like a regular fraction, so all you do is reduce it. What goes into both 26 and 2? Well, the only thing that can go into 2 is 1 and 2. So 1 doesn't matter because it'll stay the same. So how many times is 2 going to 2? Once. How many times is 2 going to 26? 13. So 13 over 1, or you can write it like this. 13 to 1. Okay, it can be written either way. Alright, and then let's do number 2. It says 2 says 10 teachers. I'll write it in red like Clifford. 10 teachers and 300 students were, were there. What is the ratio of teachers to students in lowest terms? Well, okay, this time it's teachers to students. It means teachers go on top, students on bottom. We have 10 teachers over 300 students. And that would be once we reduce it, we know 10 goes into both of those. 10 goes into 10 once, and it goes into 330 times. So it's 1 to 30. So you can say the 1 to 30 ratio. Um, this is a big thing for schools, actually. A lot of colleges like to promote that their teacher-student ratio is low because if you have, like, one teacher for 200 kids, you're obviously not going to get, like, the personalized attention that a lot of people want. So that's just a fun fact. Um, and then we can do this one just for funsies. It says choose the correct ratio of squares. Um, to triangles in the picture below. Okay, so squares go first because they mentioned it first. So it's one, two, three, four squares. Hey, four squares. And then one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. Then we reduce it. We know two goes into both of those. Two goes into four twice. Two goes into six three times. And you're done. You can just do this also, two to three. Um, and you just learned everything in the whole world, I think. Yep, yep, you're a genius. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.